So let's jump in and explore the print module in Lightroom Classic. Now you will find the print module up the top here but if it's not listed you may just need to come in and turn it on so if you right click in here you will see that you've got all the options available and you just need to click it to turn it on or off like so. So you will probably find that there are a few um, different templates that or, are already available and you can use some of these um, or you can come in and you can make your own triptych like this one that I've got here um, which I have used as the banner for this post. Now what I have actually done is I have created a page if you like to the size that I want. So I've come in here to custom and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to jump in and I'm going to make my custom file dimensions. Now I'm going to make this um, 8.53 inches by 4.8 inches which will give you a 16 by 9 ratio of 2560 by 1440 pixels which is what I wanted. Um, image quality, if you drop that down to 70% or lower, it will drop the size of your image. So if you want to keep to that size of the image, you need to put it to 100%. I've also got my file resolution as a 300 and my output is to a JPEG, which is what I wanted for this particular triptych. Now if we come back up here we can play around with some things to make a triptych. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear my layout and that has emptied everything out of here and I'm going to come back in and some new um, cells I page. Now if I come in um, and just put a two by two and a half. Now I can rotate that um, and I can move it around and make it to roughly whatever size I want it to be. Um, and I can play around with these sizes as I go. And it's just a matter, for, especially for a trick tick, it's just a matter of adding in more cells. So I'm going to put another one in, I'm going to rotate that, I'm going to make full height and I'm going to expand it a little bit, move that one over, put one more in, rotate that. These can be a little bit fiddly to get them set up um, and when you do set them up to what you want and you can type in what you want so that gives you your basic um, cell structure that you work with now you can add some other things to this you can have an actual photo border and you can have an inner stroke so if I go and put in some images and I'm just going to click an image And drag it over. Now if I hit control I can move those images you need to select the cell and just move the images around and you can do that in there um, so that you can get them to fit as well as you wish them to. Um, as I said I've got an inner stroke which I can turn that on and off and you can come in and you can change the color of that if you want to select a color that's within your image you can click here but drag your eyedropper over and you can click select a color from within your image if you wanted to do that um, or you can use their predefined selection so it's up to you what you want to do now I've also got um, the photo border which goes around each of the images and the outside as well so if you wanted to have your border bigger 
or smaller you could do that um, same again with the inner stroke so you can have that as large or as small as you wish you can um, also turn on and off your guides if you wish to so rulers page bleeds things like that now you don't have to have your sizes exactly what I selected you could pick any of these depending on how big your page is now for instance say you wanted to do a collage on a 8 by 10 and I've got one here that's um, made up I've got a triptych but the whole page is an 8 by 10 so I could then come in and I could do the same I'm going to try some different images so I can pop in some um, different images here and I can again turning my inner stroke and my border on and off um, I can change the color the size and all the rest of it now if you wanted to add some text in you can do that with the identity plate which is fairly similar to what you've got up here I don't know if you've ever seen or changed it um, I've got my um, Julie Power Photography up here and you can add an identity plate here as well so I can um, turning on and off the um, identity plate I can put text in here now if I double click in there I can um, change it to I've already got some custom presets that I've put on you can um, change the font you can come in here you can change it to you do have to have it the text highlighted um, so I can change the font I can do whatever I want in regards to that by turning the identity plate on and off you can also override the color so if you want a particular color so I can double click that again if I drag this over I can select a color from within the image too um, and of course you can have it whether it's 100% opacity or not and you can have the scale larger or smaller and you can have it over your image if you wish to you don't have to have it here so this will be all white space um, now if you were to go to say um, for instance this one where you wanted to have a blog banner um, and this has been made up with a custom size again um, I have made this one at 72 resolution because I will be putting it online um, and you can change the um, cell structure you can move them around you can ch change the size of them to upload your or to put your images in here it's just a matter of grabbing an image and bringing it up and again of course you can have an identity plate on this one I've actually um, got my name but you could change that to anything you want Oops. pretty and again you can change it to whatever fa font you want you do need to have it selected and you can change the size of it and of course you can move that around and change the color of course you don't have to have your cells full height um, you can have some lovely white space and you can change your background color so if you wanted to have your background white or black or something like that you could do that um, and then it's just a matter of putting in your images if again you can turn off the photo border and just have the inner stroke if you wish to um, and have your back black page um, you can 
um, have pretty much um, whatever you want written there um, and it's just a matter of overriding that color um, and you can have a black page or a white page or whatever else you want of course if you wanted to grab something within your image you can do that too um, and that will actually make it stand out from um, so if you had it you know in Facebook or something like that which is going to have a, a white page around it so this would make it stand out um, and all I did with these was I just had them I adjusted the cell width and height so that they were the same so they were just square um, of course once you've gone and created these you will want to keep them um, so if you click on new preset you can save it into a folder that you've called it whatever you want or you can just put it into user templates which is what um, Lightroom wants to do by default and then you can just give it a name so um, square square trip um, you could do whatever you want and it will just turn up in that um, folder there that you put there um, so if you want to use photos from the same album then it's really easy to just make sure that you've got that album selected so if you go into um, the library you've got um, that particular album and you can then go into the print module and all those photos from that album or folder um, will be available in the film strip below if you do want to use photos from different folders within your um, catalog you're probably better off putting those images into a collection and then selecting the collection before you go into the print module and then all your photos will be available um, of course once you've got all that created and you've saved your template and you've got it looking all beautiful a way to export it out so that you can share it with Facebook and all the rest of your social media so what you need to do now is you need to print to file you do not export the images from within the print module we are going to print to in this case a JPEG you can of course print directly to your printer if you wish to um, and if you had selected say an 8x10 size and did a collage you could print that directly to your printer if you wanted to but if you want to print it as a JPEG that's what we're going to do um, you can set your resolution if you wanted to you could set that to 72 I'm keeping it at 300 you can also decide on whether you want matte or glossy um, I prefer the matte and then I just hit print to file and I choose where I want to put it I'll just put it in my pictures folder and I'll just put flower trip um, it will prepare the job and it will put it into the folder that I wanted then it's just a matter of uploading um, the file that you want to social media um, so that's it for making um, layouts and triptychs which is loads of fun in the print module um, I do hope you try it and thanks for watching bye for now